16-year-old Stephen Bayliss and his 14-year-old neighbour, Tud Nadal, were found stabbed to death in a field near Wokingham. Sally Ann, who was 18, was stabbed to death yards from her home in Croydon. Parents of a 16-year-old boy who was stabbed to death in a subway in East London have appealed for help in catching his pills. surgery on her eye today after being repeatedly stabbed as she queued to buy her lunch at a school in Surrey. A 12-year-old girl who had to have 30 stitches in her face when she was slashed by a classmate. Shani Naylor from Sheffield was cut so badly across the face she was nearly blinded. These are just some of the headlines from the past few months. They made the news because the attacks were particularly brutal and violent and the victims children. Although rare crimes like this are at a worryingly high level and what's causing concern is that the criminals are getting younger and they're increasingly using knives to inflict injury and even death. 11-year-old Christopher was stabbed last year near his home in Glasgow. His attacker was 10 years old. I would have died. It was a quarter of an inch away from my heart. I'm really, really, really lucky. He came up to me and my brother and was shouting at us. And then he said to my brother, what are you looking at? And then he tried to stab my bra, and then I said, if, if you want to pick on somebody, pick on me, and then that's when he stabbed me. If anybody brings out um, a knife, I am just scared. This is Glasgow. For years and years, there's been a history of knife crime here and in the surrounding area, but now many believe it's the worst it's ever been. There is a problem in Glasgow with the carrying of knives. Uh, that is evidence, certainly, with the high volume of incidents that we do deal with that involve knife crime. In fact, the police report that there are almost four times the number of stabbings in this part of the country as compared to elsewhere in the UK. So far this year, they've dealt with 800 incidents involving a knife. And of those crimes, almost half were committed by people under 21. So far, it's my experience when you know young people come to our attention for carrying knives, they tend to be teenagers, you know, 12 years upwards. In the main, uh, young people will carry knives that they know are quite easily hidden. I mean, some use the use the, the excuse, and I, and I call it an excuse that you know that they are uh, carrying it for fear. Well, the truth of the matter is, a knife is not a defensive weapon; it's an attacking weapon. It's here to, to inflict injury and harm. The law says it's illegal to carry an offensive weapon in a public place. If you do, you could be sent to prison for six months or face a £5,000 fine. Although it varies from place to place, research shows that on average here in the UK, almost a third of children under the age of 16 regularly carry a knife or bladed weapon. I just started carrying it when I got bullied at school. Thought it helped. Chris was about 12 when he first started carrying a knife. He stopped after joining a group which teaches young people about the damage a knife can do. How did it make you feel when you were carrying the knife? Safer. I thought it would look after me. I don't think I would have used it. But I don't think I wouldn't have used it either. What's it feel like when you're being bullied? What goes through your head? I don't know, you just feel like no one likes you. So you just feel like you're at the bottom and everyone else is at the top. And the knife helped reverse that? It did for a little while. You do go back down and feel like no one likes you still. Carry a knife. I'm regretting it. That's why I've turned my life around. A knife crime is committed every 25 minutes and four out of five offenders are aged between 12 and 20. These young people are members of the First Class Youth Network. They get together to discuss the big issues facing kids today. They don't carry knives, but know young people who do. Some people do carry weapons to show off, but the people that I personally know don't walk around with it on display or on show. It's just there for any means necessary kind of attitude. Some of them, they just carry it to like, um, just in case something happens. Some of them carry it for protection and some of them just carry it to give that hard image to everybody. They're insecure, really, because they're trying to put on a show for everybody. 
I don't need to carry a knife, you get me? There's just no need. So why do they do it? I don't know. Mostly just to show off and to, to be say, hard, yeah. to pretend to be, you know, I'm a bad boy because I've got a knife, but, you know, you're, you're not. not. <laughs> and sometimes um, children, they carry knives, like, for peer pressure, like, their friends have got a knife, so they think, oh, I need to carry a knife with me as well, otherwise I can't hang with these mm. boys or whatever. This is something that David Wilson's found. He's a professor of criminology at the University of Central England. For the past five years, he's been looking into why children are arming themselves when they go out. Why is it that some children do choose to carry a knife? Well, Lisa, I think there are two groups of reasons. Firstly, there are defensive reasons why children would carry knives. In other words, they feel that they're going to be bullied, they feel that they're going to be attacked, and crucially, they don't feel they get protection from the adult world when they face those threats. However, I think there's a second group of reasons which relate to the fact that simply by carrying a knife in their hand or in their pocket, they get very quickly a great deal of respect from their peers. Now, tell me, why, when children do choose to carry knives, is it more likely that they are going to get into actual physical trouble, violence? For a whole range of reasons, frankly, but quite clearly they do. And that's often because they sometimes have too much confidence that by having that knife, they can deal with the threats themselves that they face. Whereas, in fact, all that means is that they're likely to get into further trouble. Do children actually realise that when they do carry a knife or use a knife, how dangerous a weapon it can be, uh, as opposed to, say, a gun? What children seem to say is that they imagine somehow that having a knife isn't going to cause the same damage that would be caused if they were shooting at somebody. But tragically, that's not true. And what the adult world has got to be able to do is convince young people that the solutions to their problems is not in carrying knives. How big a problem is it? Are children getting younger and younger carrying knives? Yes, the evidence seems to suggest from all kinds of different sources that children are now as young as 10 are carrying knives. And, you know, that's quite a frightening statistic when you think about it, because that takes this problem not into our senior schools, our secondary schools, but it takes it into our primary schools. Knife attacks outnumber gun crimes by three to one. One of the reasons for this is that knives are easier to get hold of. The law states that you must be over 16 to buy a knife. But in a recent investigation carried out by the Trading Standards Institute, a 13-year-old boy was able to buy a variety of knives over the internet with a type of bank card which some banks give you from the age of 11. None of the websites asked his age or for proof of ID. In fact, almost half the shops they tested broke the law by selling knives to under-16s. Last year, more than 20 teenagers were killed in knife attacks. This is Newsround. First, a 14-year-old boy has died after a fight with another pupil at a school in Lincolnshire. Some reports are saying he was stabbed. A 15-year-old boy... Has it's been... just over two years now since Luke Wormsley was killed. The 14-year-old was stabbed in the heart by a fellow pupil as he waited in the school corridor. The boy who carried out the attack was found guilty of murder and is now serving life in prison. Luke was stabbed just once. His dad, Paul, believes that many young people don't realise how serious a knife wound can be. It doesn't matter whether it's an inch long, three inches long, six inches long. It, it was one fatal stab wound that killed, that killed Luke. And it just shows you can be stabbed anywhere. You can be stabbed in the leg, you can be stabbed in the arm, you can hit a serious artery and you can bleed to death. In some schools, handheld scanners and airport-style metal detectors are being used to make sure pupils aren't carrying knives. But at the moment, teachers can't search pupils unless they give their permission. We need some form of deterrent to sort of prevent these children from fetching knives into school, which can be um, these metal detectors and CCTV, for instance. You can purchase these um, handheld scanners, which some schools locally have done, and they're only about £150 each, and obviously you can have a random search any time of day in the playground or whatever. It's just a case of scanning over the person's bag or, or the person themselves. If people think they can't hide anything because they might be caught on camera or, or caught out with a handheld metal detector, there's a good chance that they'll be deterred from bringing a knife into school. There are now around 370 police officers based in schools in England alone. Their job is to improve safety. And next year, the government's hoping to bring in new rules. 
It'll mean teachers in England and Wales have the power to search pupils if they think they may be carrying a knife. There are no plans to introduce this in Scotland and Northern Ireland yet, but across the UK, the age you'll be able to buy a knife will be raised from 16 to 18. That knife can be used against you. You might think it's there for your own protection, but you could draw it out on somebody and sort of say, back off or something. That person could use that knife against you and you could end up the one being the victim. Luke was only stabbed once in the chest and he died from his stab wound. If there's any young person out there, anybody in the United Kingdom, who's carrying a knife or is thinking about carrying a knife, my message is simple, don't do it. It's a mug's game. Uh, you're likely going to cause yourself serious harm and your family harm. It was a quarter of an inch away from my heart. I'm really, really, really lucky. I just thought to myself, I don't need to carry a knife. I'm safe without a knife. If you need help, just ask someone, talk about it. It's the best thing to do. It's what I've done, and it's, it's helped me. It was a quarter of an inch away from my heart. Research shows that on average here in the UK, almost a third of children under the age of 16 regularly carry a knife or bladed weapon. Put it out. I'm regretting it. That's why I've turned my life around. I don't need to carry a knife, you get me? There's just no need. So why do they do it? Mostly just to show off and to, to be hard, yeah. to pretend to be, you know, I'm a bad boy because I've got a knife, but, you know, you're not. not. <laughs>